Kev, you're Paul Levesque. You watch from the monitor or from the tunnel. Um, how do you feel after last night's return to the garage? Um, well, I mean, the, the, what, what I heard was, and, and the numbers have been all over the place, but when they uh, said that uh, Phil was going to be on the card, anywhere between four and 8,000 tickets were 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 sold mm -hmm. so and i believe that was the largest non-pay-per-view garden house show gate of all time he's a draw no question there so, he's a draw how do you feel after the match he definitely paid for himself <laughs> i think that he draws I don't think that, and it, as you said, he draws, and it's not like he's not going to get better every time he goes out there. You know? Could it be a Hogan situation where it's just the ceremony of seeing Hogan, seeing the leg drop? No, because the, Hogan the, was the, bigger than life. Right. Is is he at this point? No. Okay. No. Can he be? You put him out there with Randy Orton right now. I'm not talking about physical size. I'm just I'm talking about that's charisma. what I'm talking bigger than life. Okay. Bigger than bigger than life is that you're you're one of the reasons he, he he's he I think he uh, registers. So well with everybody is because he's he's the every man, mm -hmm. you know, the Ron Jeremy of wrestling. Every every person sees themselves in. Oh, about that Ron Jeremy, the fucking hog on him. Yes, he, I don't yeah, think anybody looked at Ron Jeremy and said, "Oh yeah, that's me." No, but the, his type, his his every man type. You know, it wasn't some I, I think statuesque model type guy with. That, what the the hog made up for it? Is no, I, I I don't I don't think you ever get my comparison things very well. Like you, you 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 I couldn't get you I couldn't get you to come across the line on that Booker T thing last week. You wanted me to pick the black guy. I wasn't going to do it on the air. God damn it. Um. I, well, it was. I mean, I'm just like, what do we got here? Here are the most recent polls for entries. Okay, what am I doing? I'm being given reading poll star entries uh, for. Past holiday MSG shows. Okay. Uh, the gate for the 1226 show in 2019 was 635,000 with 10,000 paid. Uh, 20, 1226 was 13,000 paid, 769,000. And 1228, 2008 was 18,000 paid. Why? What are they blocking off for the uh, Titan Tron? What's the. Why was it 18,000 in 2008 and uh, only how many, how many seats were last night? It's because of the stage, because of the entranceway? It's a house show. that they, they can cut down on that shit. And so what was it last night? Who am I looking at here? Uh, all right, 16. so it was a 16,000 setup. Okay, so that, that's a good size. And uh, uh, what did it do in, uh, in gate? Tickets distributed was 15,569. Okay. We so, don't have we don't we don't have a gate on it. There's no gate yet. Uh, Nineteen. No, I don't have a gate for last night. He'll get it. And then I when I also heard that <laughs> uh, Orton uh, on the uh, at the Baltimore place. <coughs> I don't know that is that the Baltimore Civic Center. What? It's so, that that damn place is so old. The fucking. Uh, Elvin Hayes shot jump shots there for the Baltimore Bullets. So is, the, is it still the Civic Center from yeah yesteryear with wow. the with the with the stage at one end? So I had my the, uh... last. So I had that fucking horrible ladder match with Triple H. Also, the site of the uh, I want to say the Tito Santana title win. Intercontinental title, and uh, I saw a thing on, on one of the things where Bruno uh, lost, maybe where LA Knight went out, and I guess LA Knight grew up in that area, and he had like 
what, like cut a promo where you know this happened there, this happened there. He was here for all these things growing up. He talked about the NWO power bombing or me and Scott power bombing uh, Bischoff. He was there for that. Yeah. So you got a good, you got a really good response. <laughs> 